Whoa, whoa, sweet child of mine. We're gonna be fighting Slash! Beast. I, I thought you were talking about Storm Owl. Storm Owl's not part of Guns N' Roses. Slash is part of Guns N' Roses. I don't know. They do bring a storm of good music. Oh, I see <laughs> what you did there. Uh, but yeah, hey Grayson, we're back playing Mega Man X4. Yes, we are. We're going after Slash Beast. It's a it's a good old time. Good old time. We're, we're on a train, choo, robbing people, choo, choo. shooting the little guys. As I'm humming Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> What the heck? Oh, that dick. Yep, but guess what? Yeah, you could jump it. Not able to jump it, so suck it! So, with that one, like, is there a small chance that, like, you wouldn't be able to do it? Be able to, be able to do what? To jump that. Uh, no, you always have the dash. So, okay. you know how in a Mega Man X where, um, whatchamacallit, you, your dash comes with the, you get the boots, your dash comes with the boots from Chill Penguin stage. Yeah. So, ever since that, I want to say after X1, you were always able to dash no matter what. Doesn't oh, matter. okay. Doesn't matter if you have boots or not, you're always able to dash. Oh, okay. At least that's, if my memory serves. Because I remember when I first started playing Mega Max on my um, Super Nintendo Mini. Yeah. And I'm like, how come I can't dash? Because I'm, you know, I've I've been playing Mega Man X games for a very long time. Yeah. So I was very, cons well, not concerned. I was very like, hey, what the deuce? Why can't I dash? I'm supposed to be able to do this. And then I get to Chill Penguin, and oh, surprise, surprise, there's my dash. Right. Let's be real. Dashing is the new form of sliding in the Mega Man games. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So you're always able to dash. So even if you do play this game first, you can grab the the dash boots, or you don't. You can grab the boots and you don't have to worry about it. Okay. So anyways, I want to talk to you real quick about a certain, um... Squeakle. Yeah. <laughs> about a certain sequel, which is Mega Man X5. Right. And Mega Man X5, the cool thing about X5 is the bosses in that game are all named after, uh band members from Guns N' Roses. Really? Really. So you have Holy. Doug McWhalen, you have a Slash Grizzly, and you also have... Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. What that was the... not supposed to happen. Okay. <clears throat> okay, good. I'm, I'm, not, I'm at a safe point. I'm at a spot where... It just, like, auto... Yeah, so you have Doug McWhalen, Axel Rose, yeah. who's a Rose Reploid. Really? Yep. Dead serious. It's a wow. rose reploid. And the funny thing is, is that the I want to say um, the lady who was um, what should we call it? When she was like trying to get names for the bosses, she liked some of the names, and she was like, and her husband at the time was a huge Guns of, is a huge Guns N' Roses fan. Nice. So she figured, hey, I'll just name him after Guns after this band my husband likes, and that's what happened. Hell but yeah. Here's the thing. Since the um, uh, since Mega Man, uh, uh, since the Legacy Collection, I want to say they changed the names in the Legacy Collection. Oh, really? I don't know why, but I'm 90% sure if we were to turn on Mega Man X5 here on the Legacy Collection, we would see different names for the Reploid, for the, uh, for the Mavericks, instead of them being their Guns N' Roses variants. Oh. Which is why... I am not going to get rid of my PS4 uh, ver or my PS1 version of Mega Man X5. There we go. Because it has the names of the band names uh, for Guns N' Roses. Like Slash is the Grizzly, Axl Rose is like, think Karama a little bit from Yu Yu Hakusho, uh -huh. but really going hard on the flower movie. <laughs> I mean, really going hard. Oh. Very flamboyant. Wow. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. No, not at all. But it's just really like, if you were to look at it, you go, but, my God. But they're really playing into the name Rose. Yeah, yeah they're really playing into the name Rose. And yeah. like, Duff McLean was my favorite one, because I believe Duff, it, I can't remember the, the it's the based off the drummer. Duff McLean is the drummer. Yeah. Or Duff, Duff is supposed to be the drummer. I, I forgot what the name of the, some of the bandmates are. Because there's a lot of, let's be real, there's a lot of uh, um, actor or bandmates in Guns N' Roses. Right. So, yeah. That was, uh, oh shit. Eh, what was it? Yeah, what was I saying? But yeah, so 
I want to say the Legacy Collection does not have the... Oh, look at that, light bulb. It doesn't have the, um, the bandmates. And, which makes me sad, because that's one of the, the charms of Mega Man X5. Now, while X5 is a really good game, it's fun. It's really decent, although some would say that's where X5 is where, um, the Mega Man X franchise started to teeter a little bit. Uh-huh. I mean, just a wee bit, not by much, but you can tell that, uh, the producers were like, we're kind of done with X, with X, we just want to finish the story, and... Oh, there goes my right armor. Uh-oh. It's okay, I'm at the end of the train. I'm at the back, front of the train anyway. Oh, train's coming to a stop. Ah! Those guys want to get off the train, but there's no getting off this train. Nope. This is the pain train, baby. Exactly. I'm here bringing the pain. Uh -oh. oh, fuck. Here I am. Well, oh, there we go. And I'm, like, I'm bringing the pain, and I just fall to my death. <laughs> like a total idiot. Oh my gosh. Well, wonders never cease with Mega Man X. I mean, I hope they don't cease. Yeah, I, I hope not either. That's, I there we go. Part Stop of my the train. Part of my you little bitch, get back here! Get revenge! I got my revenge. Fantastic. Oh shit, Bob. Uh -oh. Fuck you, that. So, also wanted to double check. Uh huh. Uh, you had a bitch of a time earlier. And I wanted to know if uh, you care to share a little bit about your frustrations. Oh my god, yes. I Okay. So, at the time of this recording... Yes. Um, there's a certain video game that just came out by Nintendo. And oh, it was gee. released via Shadow Drop from uh, a special little thing called the Nintendo Direct. Uh-huh. So the Direct decided to drop a game that I've been wanting to be dropped for the longest time, and that's Metroid Prime Remastered. Yep. The original GameCube Classic Remastered for modern consoles, but here's the problem. Now, when Nintendo announced it, they re they announced the digital version the right. same day of said announcement, which of course. is really good. It, they shadow dropped it. They're like, surprise, it's open. You can play this game right here, right now, and it's only forty dollars. It's not a full sixty dollar game. Yeah. However, ooh man, I only have. Whoa. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he he a speedy boy. Challenging my unit was both foolish and reckless. <laughs> you are nothing more than my prey. One that is soon to be retired. He said, "Unit." I want to munch. Get him. Get him. Oh, F you, F you. Get him, X. <laughs> I thought that he would stop when he was like, yeah, like that, well, but I guess not. I would definitely say do not, oh, man, I'm being... do not just like try and uh, beef through it. Nope. Oh, I... But yeah, uh, you were saying the- Got him! That... One time! Wow! One shot! One shot. We love that! Take that. Woo! One life, no, no lives left. Suck it, Slash Beast. And you had like maybe one or two more hits. No, still. I had one hit left. <laughs> one hit left? Oh yeah, okay. were my health that low against a Maverick? Yeah. Only one, oh, or against a, a stage boss, I had one health left. Ooh, Ooh that is a really cool color. I was gonna say, that. I like that color. I, I did. One of the cool things about Mega Man X games, or Mega Man games in general, you got really cool color schemes. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Twin Slasher shoots twin slashers forward in two directions. This weapon has wide range capabilities, making it easier to hit enemies. Nice. Save. Yes. And I will say that we are right around the time, Ooh, so... So I will continue more about my rants about yes. Metroid Prime 4 Remastered in the next episode. Sounds good to me. Do we, do we have a cutscene? No, we don't. No, we do not. I'm surprised. I thought we had a cutscene after we took out... Oh, yeah, we do. Sir, it's a message from the Colonel. X, I'll wait for you at Memorial Hall. Make sure you show up on time. Sir, this must be a trap. Perhaps, but I won't run this time. I'm Mega Man X, bitch. This is where we fight Colonel. Oh, shit. I don't have one. I only have one left. This is not gonna be fun. Nope. <laughs>
Uh, do we want to pause here? Nope. Let's just, actually, yeah. Let's just pause here. Yeah. Screw it. All right. Cool. <laughs> we'll pause this time. Sounds good. Yeah. So, uh, where can we find you? You can find me on the internet at Ben Magnet Twenty Seven, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. You can also find me co-hosting the Fake Nerd Podcast, hosting Basement Arcade Pause Menu, and writing for Fusion Gaming Magazine, Old School Gamer Magazine, Go Nintendo, writing for GoNintendo.com, and playing Mary Frankenstein on D and Dark along with you. Yep. I play Jack Griffin, the Invisible Man. That you do. D and Dark is, of course, a uh, loose based D and D five E TTRPG real play podcast. Very loose based because a certain company is being real bitches about it right now. Yep, but they did gonna... get they did give up their fight. But they're also doing more bitchy things yeah, involving their print books, which means I am very happy I have a set of three in my possession yeah. that you can pry from my cold, dead hands. And also, I'm not going to join a certain subscription service that they're really trying to push. Just because they want more money. Nope. You know what? If the system ain't <clears throat> broken, don't try and change it. I mean, it kind of sucks because I'm pretty sure I really want to go see the new Dungeons & Dragons movie, Honor Among Thieves. Yeah. But part of me really has a feeling that some of those box office ticket sales are going to go back to Hasbro and WOTC, Wizards of the Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really don't want to give them more money. I'd rather give my money to SideQuest. Yeah, SideQuest is a great place. I kind of want to go there and get some more dice. Oh, no, we're going. Well, I might be going to Frank's next Saturday, Saturday so oh, you're, welcome, oh. you're welcome to meet up with us. We're going to be there early in the morning, though. Oh, you're probably going to hate life. Just letting you know. Well, if it's on a Saturday, it's a little bit easier. It is anyway, on a Saturday. I don't know why oh. we're talking about it like right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Anyways, yeah. So, uh, yeah, because I want more dice, too. I'm a dice goblin. Now. Yeah. Uh, you can. Yes. Yeah, so follow us on all the things. Grayson, where can people find you on the, the World Wide Webs? Uh, on the World Wide Webs, you can go to my page. Which you could just click on a little. I, I I actually changed the page just a little bit. Like there's a small Ooh. little uh, 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 thumbnail or Ooh. thing that sits down in the corner of the bottom of the video. If you're watching oh. on a computer, you can hover over it Ooh. and it says subscribe. Oh, and you can click on that and then basically get sent to my page. And then uh, also, it you can follow my socials over there yeah. um, on the Instagram and also Twitters. And uh, for the most part, that's basically where you could find me. Uh, other than that, I think we're pretty much out of here. So, um, until then, I hope you do, of course, do that one thing that I always try and tell you to do. Um, take care of yourself and take care of each other. Absolutely. Oh, sweet.